everybody, it's Georgina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am back with another makeup tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a very summery, bronzy makeup look because summer is right around the corner and I felt like doing a summer makeup tutorial. I'm going to be doing fake freckles, a really warm eyeshadow look because that just screams summer to me. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. <laughs> with the makeup today i just wanted to say that today's video is sponsored by beauty bay so at beautybay.com you can get all of your favorite makeup and beauty items um they have beauty items from all over the world and all of the products that i'm going to talk about today you can find at beauty bay so i just wanted to say thank you for sponsoring today's video and let's get started for real <laughs> So first I'm just gonna start off with some skincare to prep my skin because my skin is so freaking dry at the moment. So I'm just gonna be using some skincare products from Mario Badescu and I've been using Mario Badescu for a very long time and I love all of their products. Um, but these skincare products I actually have not tried out yet. So this is the Mario Badescu Aloe Moisturizer. Um, this also has SPF 15, which I think is a plus so I don't have to worry about applying my sunscreen anymore so I'm just gonna take a little bit and apply this on my skin oh I maybe <laughs> grabbed a little bit too much um, but yeah guys my skin has been so freaking dry I haven't moisturized in two days because um, I went away for a weekend and I forgot my moisturizer so I literally put my makeup on top of my unmoisturized dry face <laughs> um, which feels very disgusting and gross so now I'm just gonna apply this Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream so I do already have the Hyaluronic Moisturizer that I really love from Mario Badescu but this I haven't tried yet so I'm really excited to see how this feels and how this works by the way, my skin already feels very nice and moisturized and not dry anymore, um, which I really needed. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this under eye cream and I can really use this right now because my under eyes are dry as heck. I'm not really sure how much um, you're supposed to put on, but I'm just going to put on a little bit and put this around my eyes. Actually, I don't think this is a little bit. I think this is too much okay I'm just gonna I'm just gonna blend this okay my under eyes are looking very moisturized I really really like this stuff um, I think I forgot to mention this but this video is kind of going to be a first impressions video some of the products I have already tried but most of them um, I haven't so I'm gonna give you like a little review on every single makeup product Okay, so I'm going to be trying out this Linda Holberg Infinity Glass Primer. So this is supposed to give you very glossy and glowy skin. Um, and this is for the face, eyes, and lips. So this is what it looks like. And um, yeah, when I saw this, I like really wanted to try it out. I'm just going to apply some on my finger. Um, my face really, really needs that glowy glossiness right now because... It has been looking so dull for the past couple of days. I really hate it, but this is like kind of thick. I like it. Like instantly gives me a nice glow. I'm gonna put some on my lips as well. Oh my gosh, I look so dewy and hydrated. I love this stuff. So I have prepped my skin and I'm actually gonna move on to the eyes first because um, I just kind of want to let this sink in a little bit like I want to let this sit for a minute um, so yeah we're gonna move on to eyeshadow do that first so I already told you guys that I want to do like a very warm eyeshadow look because I really love warm colors for summer and I really think that they um, complement my skin tone really well so I'm going to be using the Beauty Bay Evolve palette so this is a 42 um, color eyeshadow palette and when I saw this on their website I died um, look at how many colors 
this palette has and it has so many nice warm shades like this is just amazing i think i'm gonna do like a little bit of an orangey yeah like an orangey fire brown <laughs> i'm so bad at describing colors so before i start off with the eyeshadow i am also going to be using a um brush set from beauty base so this is an 18 piece brush set and it has face brushes and eye brushes so i'm gonna be using as much of these as possible today and try them out see how i like them this literally feels like christmas get to open all of these new brushes i'm gonna start off with this color right here um this is under number five and then under transition so this color right here it's so hard to hold this palette because it's freaking big um and i'm going to be using this brush right here this is the round the blend brush so this is kind of like a smaller blending brush for your crease i guess and i'm just gonna pick up this color and apply this onto my eyes i'm gonna take this color and just apply it um roughly like into my crease and also kind of blend it up a little bit more and also like a little bit on the lid this is just going to be like our main um transi transition <laughs> transition color that's like gonna be the start for our eyeshadow this blended so freaking quick I also think it's because of the um, the eye primer or like the eye cream that I used. I think it goes on very smooth right now. Okay, so I put down the transition color. So right now it's kind of looking a little bit too pinkish for me. It doesn't really show on camera, but I kind of want it to be more warm, like more orangey. So that's how I'm gonna make it. So I'm gonna move on. I don't even know if this palette fits on my freaking camera. I think I'm gonna use these two shades right here. So this one is under five and under crease. So I'm gonna pick up this one first and then I'm gonna also grab some of this. This is under two and then also under crease. And I'm just gonna take the same blending brush because I really like this one for blending out my shadow. Um, so I'm first gonna pick up the color 5, kind of make it a little bit more orangey. Oh my gosh, look at that pigment. That's insane. I really like this color, it's so nice. That like instantly makes it a lot more, I don't know, like deeper kind of, like a lot more warm. Which is the look that I was like really going for. So I'm going to put this in my crease, but also kind of blend it on my lid a little bit because I also want my lid to have some of that color and not stay skin tone <laughs> because that looks weird. This um, eyeshadow look I think is going to be quite similar to the um, eyeshadow look that I did a couple of weeks ago on my Instagram. Like I did a super kind of like um, almost cherry um makeup like eye makeup and i like really have been loving the um more warmer eyeshadow looks because i don't know i just think it like really complements my skin tone and like skin color and i also think that the uh, warmer colors really complement my eye color so yeah the warm colors are just my jam you know what i'm talking about okay so now i'm gonna take a little bit of the color that i showed you the number two under crease this one right here this is like a more chocolatey brown kind of color so this is not as warm as the orange color that we just used but this is just gonna add some more depth and just gonna make it look a lot better you see oh my god these shadows are so freaking pigmented i don't know what it is but i really only have to tap my brush um in the shadows like once or like twice um and then i already have so much pigment also i'm just using the um, um round the blend brush for this as well i don't know like i really like this brush for 
crease colors because my eye like area to apply shadow is not really too big so I, i'm sorry guys my camera cut off but i was saying that sometimes blending brushes are like way too big and then they end up ruining my eye makeup so i really like this one it's nice and small um so yeah don't worry about this right here i'm gonna clean it up later um so yeah i really loved the eyeshadows and i'm gonna finish my lower lash line later as well i'm first gonna work on my base makeup um so yeah let's get to that right now so i'm quickly just gonna put on some concealer and set that down because i actually do not have um a concealer and setting powder to give a review on like a first review on so i'm just gonna do the usual and just apply a little bit of my concealer oh underneath my eyes and then just on some blemishes and quickly set that down because i'm also not going to be using foundation today you guys know that i don't really like to use foundation anymore so okay guys so i just applied some concealer as you can see i'm not really a full coverage type of girl especially in summer i just like to focus on my eyes a little bit more and keep the skin just nice and natural um so i'm gonna be moving on to a bronzer and blush and for that i have these two palettes by jouet i've never tried a jouet product before so i'm really excited to use this the packaging is so pretty it feels very luxurious so i'm very excited to use this so first i'm just going to apply some of this bronzer so this is the light to medium bronzer duo um, this has two shades, sunlight, this one right here, and then suntan, and I think I'm gonna use, hmm, which one is darker? I think I'm gonna use sun tan, this one, I think, no, sunlight, I'm just, let's just mix the two together, okay. For this, I'm going to be using this brush right here, this one is called Bake Off, and I'm just gonna be mixing the bronzers together and applying them okay so right off the bat it is a very very nice color not too warm not too cool toned i don't know if you guys can see um but this is probably a little bit too light for my skin tone so if you are a little bit lighter than me then this would be perfect so far i really love how this blends it's like a really natural bronzer. It has a very nice undertone. And they're not orange because I hate it when my bronzers or contour shades are orange. Okay, so the bronzer is on. I'm feeling a little bit more tan right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to be applying some blush right now. So this is the Jouer Adore Blush Duo. And this, like, I freaked <laughs> when I saw this on a website this color is like the perfect blush color i don't know this just looks so freaking pretty to me I'm gonna pick up some of that blush and apply some of my cheeks oh this is a very nice matte blush it doesn't really show up too much on camera but i can definitely see it in person I don't know, it's just like a very natural color that it gives. I really like this one. The next step is highlighter and for this I have the Beauty Bay Living My Best Light Palette. This is the Smolder Palette and this is like the prettiest highlighter palette that I've ever seen. I don't know if you can see this shade this is so amazing i probably would not put this on my face maybe on my legs or something but this does look really nice um so i'm gonna use the fancy that brush for my highlighter this is a very big fan brush i'm just gonna be picking up some of the color hmm, reflection right here this one the lightest shade and just gonna apply some on my cheekbones Ooh, that's pretty do you guys see that Ooh, i really like it it gives a very nice glow also gonna put some of my 
chin on my nose I always do my nose highlight and also a little bit on the forehead as well guys I'm glowing wow I really like this one this is so pretty I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand that is the nicest highlighter color ever now I'm going to be doing some eyebrows and you guys know that I don't really do eyebrows a lot so I'm gonna keep it very natural. So for my eyebrows I'm gonna use this brush right here. This is the On Fleek brush. This is so cute. And I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro Eyebrow Pomade in the color ash brown and i'm just gonna do a very natural eyebrow just gonna draw a line under here and then also on the top no i'm just gonna do just gonna do the bottom oh that is like the perfect perfect color match for my eyebrows just gonna take a spoolie and like soften it up because i don't really like the um very instagram brow look you guys know that i love my brows natural guys that was so quick but <laughs> my brows are done i think guys i think i'm sleeping or something but i totally forgot to apply a eyeshadow color onto my eyelids so that's what i'm gonna do right now and i'm also gonna finish the under eyes i'm gonna pick up the color right here this is under number two and under number pop so I'm just going to pick this up on a, what is this? This is a Hey Shorty brush. And I'm just going to grab like a little bit, not too much because I don't want too much, too much going on on the eyelid. Just like a little bit of shimmer. You know what I mean? Like a little bit of sheen. Like I think this is enough. And that's pigmented like very pigmented already and then for my lower lash line i'm just going to be taking these two colors again i use these in my crease as well and i'm just gonna um pop these under my lower lash line i'm just gonna <laughs> use the same brush okay i'm sorry just give it some color as well I'm gonna take this brush right here. This one is called Blend It Out. And I'm gonna take this shade right here. This is under highlight and then under one. And I'm gonna grab some of this and put some in my inner corners to give it like a little bit of a glow. Just a little bit, not too much. Not too much. Oh yeah, that looks very, very nice. So now on to the most exciting part of the video. I'm going to be applying some fake freckles. And I've done fake freckles before, but that didn't really turn out too well. So I'm going to be using this Freck Long Wear Freckle Makeup. This bottle is like so freaking tiny. I think it's so cute. So I've seen this all over Instagram. And basically what you do is you grab this little, this little brush and then you... Um, make a few dots and then you get your fingers or your beauty blender and then you Blend out the product and then you have freckles like as easy as that Let's start on this side Okay, I'm gonna take my finger. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting Did you guys see that? Oh my god That just gave me the most beautiful natural looking freckles ever okay i'm just gonna oh my god i don't know if you can see but they're so like it looks so natural the color is like oh that's a big one let's see if we can make bitch are you for real This stuff is, this stuff is amazing. I'm gonna put some right here. Just gonna do some freckles over there. And on top of my highlight, I think it's very cute when you 
put them right here. I'm just gonna do all over kind of and then just blend them out with my finger. I'm just gonna do my lips. I just put on a little bit of lip liner to make my lips a little darker. Um, so now I'm gonna try out this lip gloss. I already know that this one is gonna be good because I've heard so many great things about it and I've seen it all over Instagram, but this is the Desi XKD Dose of Colors lip gloss in the shade Over the Top and I'm so excited to try this out. Um, I already know that this is gonna look freaking bomb and to me, a summer makeup tutorial is not complete without popping ass lip gloss. So <laughs> I'm gonna apply um, this lip gloss. Like, I don't even have to say anything because, I mean, you can see that this lip gloss is freaking amazing. It feels, it feels very great too. It doesn't feel sticky. Okay, so to finish off the makeup look, I'm gonna apply some of the Mario Badescu facial spray with Olo, herbs, and rose water. And I've tried this before. I know it's freaking good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh god, it's coming. Ah, oh, this smells so nice. This is like the best facial spray ever. This makes your makeup look 10 times better in my opinion. Like it makes it look so fresh, dewy and glowy and it smells absolutely amazing. Plus it is great for your skin. I'm gonna let this setting spray sink into my skin and I'm quickly gonna pop on some falsies off camera and then I will be back to show you the end result, the end look. Okay guys, so I just applied my favorite eyelashes off camera. The glue is still drying because it's still a little bit white and my eyes are watering because every single time I use eyelash glue, my eyes start to water, which is not very fun, but it always happens. <laughs> okay guys, so I think this is going to be it for my summer makeup tutorial. As you can see, my skin is like glowing. I keep looking at myself in the um, um, little viewfinder and I'm like glowing. Like my skin looks so dewy, hydrated and glowy. I am obsessed. I really love how the eyeshadow look turned out. It's just like my favorite look to do um, because warm eyeshadows are my freaking favorite. And yeah, I really love how this look turned out. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial slash first impressions slash freckle <laughs> video. Um, so yeah, I want to say thank you to Beauty Bay for sponsoring today's video and I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Oh my god, I just, <laughs> I just literally spit. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys back in my next YouTube video. Bye!